Hi, and welcome to this quick walkthrough of the ACHS Internet Research Practical. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find information using two different sources. The first, via searching the published medical research library at PubMed, and second, via some advanced Google searches. Let's start with PubMed. To get to PubMed, you can just go to pubmed.gov, use a link from any of our library resource pages, or even just going to google.com and searching for PubMed. It's going to be the first link that comes up here. Now, once at PubMed, let's say I'm searching for some resources related to lavender. I'll do a quick lavender search in the box here. And you can see that comes back with about 1,800 results. Now, not all of those results are free full text articles. So one of the first tricks I want to show you is to look over here on the left navigation under text availability and click on free full text. Once I do that, you can see that my results drop down quite a bit. But these results are going to be a little more useful in that you have access to the entire article and not just the abstract. However, there may be a point at which you can't find the full text available for an article you need. Don't worry, you can still use the abstract by itself. OK, so let's take a look at one of these articles. Now, I'm going to browse the headlines and see if I can find something that looks particularly interesting to me. Now, make sure they're relevant as well. For instance, if I look at this first result here, I don't think this actually has to do with lavender. I think it just happens to have an author with the name Lavender. So I'll be disregarding that one. This looks interesting, however. Now, notice that the article that I'm looking at now is still not the full text article. Now, to do that, I can click this link here, or I can use this link over here. And now, I should be looking at the entire article. You're going to want to read the introduction and conclusion paragraphs first. The introduction gives background information needed to understand the study, and the conclusion summarizes the results of the investigation. Okay, I'm going to go back to my initial search. Locate the section Article Types in the left-hand navigation. Now, locate the filter under article types called review. A review is a survey and summary of the current research and ideas on a specific topic. And if you filter by clinical trials, PubMed will give you a list of abstracts of clinical trials, including the word lavender. Explore the other filter options here on the left side of the page. These provide many ways to select and filter your results, including trending articles, publication dates, and species. OK, one more quick exercise. Here on the home page, if I come down here to Training and Tutorials, and Tutorials here, I'm going to search for something called Mesh. This video again. You're definitely going to watch this video, because Mesh is a really cool part of PubMed that teaches you how to structure your search to get the best results. Now, as you saw, there were you know, about 1,500 results or so when I first did my search. So the better you can create that string, you're going to have a lot less to sort through. OK, enough about PubMed for now. Let's go, let's hop over to Google. Now, there's a reason we started this exercise with PubMed instead of Google. Now, Google is a fantastic way to find information. The problem is, it's also a fantastic way to find bad information. That said, we've got some strategies for you. So let's try the same thing we did a moment ago and just do a quick lavender search. Now notice that there's nearly a billion results for our search here. I could spend an entire day and not even come close to making the tiniest of dents in that number. Let's strengthen our search a little by adding essential oil. That's better, but we're still approaching a million at this point. Still nothing I could do to even come close to sorting through those results. Now let's try this. Instead of using the common search, let's use let's use the Latin name, and this time let's put it in quotation marks. That's still a lot of results, but notice that it did come down a little bit. 
Now, when you put a phrase in quotation marks like I did there, instead of just looking for both of those words, it only looks for both of those words appearing together, as in one connected phrase. Now let's try one more thing. Let's click on the gear icon of our search over here on the right. Now let's try something else. Click on the gear icon to the right over here and choose advanced search. Notice that under find pages with, your search phrase appears in the box that says this exact word or phrase. Below this section, under then narrow your results by, there is an option that says file type. Change this to Adobe Acrobat PDF. And then click the blue advanced search button. Now your search will retrieve fewer, more targeted articles. Some of these pages may be from commercial sites, but many of them are from universities or other reliable sources. Let's go back to the advanced search page using the back arrow. Now we're going to look for the empty box under site or domain. This box allows you to select websites from particular domains like .com, .net, or .edu. Sites that end in .edu are usually from universities and will tend to include more reliable information. So in this box, I'm going to go ahead and type .edu. And now, click Advanced Search. Now, keep in mind, I still have this PDF filter here. I could take that off, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Now, notice that I've only got about a thousand results now, so we've done a pretty good job of narrowing this down. And if I look up here in my search box, you can see how Google has formatted the different characteristics of the search as I've constructed it. Now, I can just continue adding directly to this box right here. So let's say I'm going to add essential oil back in. 270 results, all PDFs from universities that specifically reference the Latin name of lavender. That's not bad, but we could take it even further and add stress or drug interactions to our search. Not bad. Instead of stress, let's add drug interactions Now we have only 21 results. That should be pretty easy to sift through. Now at this point, I'd love to encourage you to really experiment with different combinations of these advanced search features. Now depending on what you're searching for, this is a really incredibly powerful way of narrowing down through those millions and billions of search results that you're going to first get when trying a broad generic search. The next thing I want to suggest you do is go to scholar.google.com. Type your search terms in the search box that appears, and Google will find a list of academic articles and abstracts. So let's do something very similar and start in quotations with the Latin name of Lat Lander. Lavender. Now obviously 10,000 is much better than the million or billion we were starting with earlier, but let's go ahead and add essential oil. For a generic quick starting point, that's not bad at all. Now one last quick tip that should be just a little more fun, let's start back at the beginning at google.com, enter that Latin name again. Now, careful when you're typing this because that Google is going to want to autofill and complete what it thinks you're trying to type. But if you're adding the quotation marks, it might strip those out if you just use the suggestion from Google. So make sure you type it the entire way and hit enter with the quotation marks in place. Now, from this result, I'm going to click on the images tab. If you want to see only large, detailed photos, click Large, located under Any Size. Now, as you're learning about herbs and you really want to get a close-up, detailed view of what they look like in real life, this is a real fun way to 
to kind of explore and learn. Of course, you're always going to want to be sure to honor the image copyright. So if the image is not copyright free, you cannot reproduce it in any way. When you locate an image you are allowed to use, always be sure to include a full reference. Thanks for watching.